Hello, here's the news at this hour on G7 TV. I am Mopola Fatikale. Here are awesome major headlines. Nama recovery against dollar to begin February 2021. Oil judicial panel plans to hold first public hearing in January. Trump signs $900 billion COVID relief bill and in the world is caught. Ronaldo knocks out three contenders to win Player of the Century award. And now, the news in details. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has said the Naira will begin recovery against the dollar and other global currencies from February 2021. This was contained in the latest CBN business expectation survey released by its statistics department. The survey respondent firms, however, envisage higher interest rates from January, March to June 2021. According to the report, the respondent firm said although the Naira has for seven months depreciated against the dollar, the local currency appreciation against the greenback will start from February 2021 to July same year. The Naira was a month ago exchanging at 500 Naira to a dollar at the parallel market before it appreciated to 465 Naira to a dollar at the weekend. Local currency has, however, remained stable at 379 Naira to a dollar on the CBN's official rate, which a check at the Apex Bank's website has shown. The Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority has vowed to fine airlines $3,500 for each passenger that refuses to adhere to the new travel protocols announced by the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19. In a letter addressed to all airlines and signed by the NCAA Director General Captain Musanu on December 26, the NCAA directed passengers flying from the United Kingdom and South Africa to present a pre-departure permit to fly, slash QR code and a negative COVID-19 PCR test results done within 96 hours of boarding. In the circular tattooed protocols for all passengers originating from the United Kingdom and South Africa, Nuhu explained that the new protocols were to curtail a new variant of the COVID-19 virus that was fast spreading around the world. Nuhu further stated, on their arrival in Nigeria, passengers will be received and processed separately by public health authorities, adding that all passengers will be required to self-isolate for seven days after arrival, followed by a COVID-19 PCR test. Nuhu equally warned that any carrier flouting the new rules will have its permit or approval to fly into Nigeria suspended. The Oyo State Judicial Panel says it is planning to hold first public hearing in January 2021, days after a public outcry over the inability to hear petition against police brutality. The panel administration secretary, Mr. Salami Akim, told newsmen that the judicial panel has been analyzing complaints and petitions submitted to it. According to him, after the conclusion of members' assessment of petitions, the panel is most likely to have inaugural public hearing next month. However, Governor McIndy's media aide, Mr. Taiwai Dissa, has also said the panel is conducting preliminary investigations into the records of alleged atrocities. The Oyoste chapter of the Western Nigeria Security Network, codenamed Amotek, has announced the arrest of suspected armed robbers who have been ravaging Ijawaya village on the Ogbomosho to Oyo road. As contained in a statement issued by the state commandant of Amateku, retired Colonel Olayinka Olayoju, Ijawaya village had become a danger zone due to the frequent activities of the robbers. Retired Colonel Olayinka Olayoju, however, said that at the joint patrol of Amateku on Friday, the security operatives were able to apprehend the robbers who in turn led them to the robbers hide out. The news on GSO TV will be back right after this. And as to some foreign stories, United States President Donald Trump has finally signed a massive $900 billion stimulus bill on Sunday in a long-sought boost for millions of Americans and businesses battered by the coronavirus pandemic after delaying for nearly a week and under pressure from all sides. The package providing coronavirus emergency response and relief is part of a larger spending bill that, with Trump's signature, 
will avoid a government shutdown on Tuesday. The president said in a statement from his Christmas vacation at his Ma'alago resort in Florida that he is signing this bill to restore unemployment benefits, stop evictions, provide rental assistance, and add money for PPP paycheck protection programs, return airline workers back to work, adding substantially more money for vaccine distribution and much more. The turnaround came after a day marked by calls from all sides of the political spectrum for action to avert an economic and social disaster, especially for America's vulnerable populations. Voters were seen going to the polls on Sunday in the Central African Republic in presidential and legislative election, marred by the latest flare-up in a long-running civil war, with many voters unable to cast their ballot. Incumbent Faustin Tuadera is the frontrunner in polls that follow a week of turbulence marked by accusation of an attempted coup, rebels briefly seizing the fourth largest town, Russia and Rwanda, disparting military personnel to help the government and also 16 candidates are vying for the presidency, which Tuadera's main rival is former Prime Minister Anissa George Dologuele. The polling stations began to close 5 p.m. local time with partial results expected on January 4th, 2021 and the final totals on January 19th, 2021, while a runoff will be held on February 14th if there is no overall majority in the first round. And finally, moving on to the exciting world of sports, Cristiano Ronaldo has knocked out three other top contenders for the play of the Century Crown at the Globe Soccer Awards in Dubai on Sunday. The Juventus forward attended the awards to receive the top prize for which Lionel Messi, Mohamed Salah and Ronaldinho were also shortlisted. The 35-year-old Portuguese also received the Agent of the Century Award on behalf of his agent and compatriot George Mendes. Bayern Munich striker Robert Lewandowski was also named Player of the Year, while Hansi Flick received the Coach of the Year prize and Bayern Munich was named Club of the Year after a season that included winning the Champions League, Bundesliga and DFB Pokal titles. Pep Guardiola was also voted Coach of the Century, having won eight league titles with Barcelona, Bayern Munich and Manchester City, as well as two Champions League titles with Barcelona. Barcelona star Lionel Messi has opened the doors to a possible stint in MLS. Messi, in an interview with Newsman on Sunday, said he has always had the illusion that he would love to enjoy the experience of living in the United States, living the league and the life, adding that if it, is, it happens or not, he does not know. Messi has, however, stressed that any decision on his next move won't be made until the end of the season. And with that, we come to the end of the news. Here is a recap of the major headlines. Now, a recovery against dollar to begin February 2021. Oya Judicial Panel plans to hold first public hearing in January. Trump signs $900 billion COVID relief bill. And in the water sport, you heard Ronaldo knocks out three contenders to win Player of the Century award. President Forgetto was the dare to cover 19 safety measures. The news was compiled by Hope TGOK IM. Mobola Fate Kale Good Day and thank you for watching.